is Wild Wednesday, and you know what that means. We've got more animals to show you. Madison introduces us to the Rosette Spoonbill Chicks at the Fort Worth Zoo. Good morning. We're here at the Fort Worth Zoo, and I am here with multiple guests flying all around, but I'm also here with Danielle. Danielle, we've got a very special guest to showcase this morning, a couple of chicks that have hatched recently at the Fort Worth Zoo. Yeah, correct. So behind me, and you can also hear them, we have our Rosette Spoonbill Chicks. We currently have seven chicks that are a little over a month old and they are close to fledging. And you said that they started out about a month ago hatching and being about palm size and now they're very large. Correct. Though they hatch um, probably about less than two ounces and they're little white fluffy babies and they grow very quickly. Birds in general grow very quickly so they can get up and out of the nest. And you said that their bills that are shaped like spoons kind of help them to gather the food that they're going to eat throughout the day. Absolutely. So they live in marshlands um, and what they do is that they skim the bottom of the water and they're for small crustaceans and small fish. And tell me about the parents. The parents are obviously a much brighter pink than the, the babies are. So they will uh, mature and get that brighter pink about three to four years old. And um, they do that from pigments called carotenoids. And that's the same pigments that flamingos get their pink coloration from. Wow. And this is also a success story because you said at one point these birds were on the verge of extinction. Absolutely. They were almost hunted to extinction due to their beautiful pink feathers. Um, but due to a lot of regulations set in place um, a long time ago, they uh, have bounced back and they're now least concerned. And now you can see the babies right here at the Fort Worth Zoo. They are on display.